The experience section on your LinkedIn profile. What is it? How do you add it? And how do you update it? So my name is Louise Brogan. I am the host of the LinkedIn with Louise podcast and welcome to my YouTube channel. You are very welcome to subscribe so that you don't miss any future trainings and go back and check all the other little mini tutorials I have on how to use LinkedIn for business as well as for your career. So we're going to go straight to the LinkedIn profile section. To do that, we go to the me drop down menu and you go to view profile. This is assuming that you have an existing LinkedIn profile. If you don't, then please go and check out my video on how to create your LinkedIn profile. So we'll scroll down through the sections of the profile here. Let's go down the profile and you will see. So at the add on section, you can click on the add section here at the top right. Um, and we're going to work experience. So let's jump straight to the work experience section. So we're going to add a new experience here. So I am going to create a role for myself and let's say um, a content writer. So you, you might see suggestions of things in here. So let's go with content writer and say contract. And then this is the important bit. So if you add in, start typing your company name, this will add you as an employee to that company's company page on LinkedIn. So make sure that you select the right one. So for example, if I typed in small business Britain, there is the company, it's easy because there's only one option there. But what if we typed in something that had lots of different, um, so small finance bank, small finance bank, what if you picked the wrong one and you say that this is where you work? Now, picking the right one brings up the logo of that company on your profile. Um, and you can say, so I'm going to pretend that I used to work there and I'm going to put in April, let's say 2013, end date, May, 2014. So say I worked there for um, a year. And then you want to put in the description what you did in that role, what you were responsible for. So if you were a content writer, you may have been responsible for um, helping plan out the content calendar for the year, writing blog posts, writing social media posts, um, working with team members, um, reporting to the content director, whatever you want to put in there, you put in, in this piece here. And um, I have notify network turned off. That's totally optional. You can put that in if you want. And then the scroll down, you could say, when I worked there, I was working in London. Again, look, London, England, London, Canada, London, Ontario, London, Kentucky. So make sure you pick the right one. So let's just pick London area, United Kingdom. And then I can save that. Now, the other thing is you can add in media down here. So you could add a link to that company's website. Now, it's not fair to do this to the small finance bank in Jana because I don't actually know who they are. So I will use one of my um, networks that I am actually part of. So small business Saturday. And what I'll do is I'll change to an actual job title. Um, so I will say, um, Post of Facebook Live events. So that is something I'm doing with them. So it's really interesting. Whoever manages their LinkedIn company page will say, why is Louise adding herself as this? Because you can add yourself to whoever you want. Um, and if I wanted to add a link to that, it might be to one of the LinkedIn Facebook Lives I've done. So let me just go grab that just right now. I've gone and grabbed the actual link to the live video that's over on Facebook and I'm going to click add. And this will now add to my experience section on my profile. Unfortunately, it's not because it's coming from Facebook, it's not going to show the image for it. But people will still be able to watch it. So Small Business Saturday on Facebook Watch. So the actual title of this was um, Five Digital Tools Every small business owner needs or something like that anyway um, and then I'm going to click apply it's so unfortunate it's not putting across the image because that would really demonstrate it very nicely for you um, 
again, I'm going to change my title. So um, small business champion. Oops. You can see I'm actually now giving it the proper um, credence. So um, I'm currently in this role. Yes, I am. And I actually am doing it since, um, oh, there's it down here, small business Britain champion. Um, so just pretend I'm just gonna put in those dates and say what I do in that event. Um, I do not want to update my headline because that is my actual headline there. Um, let's just take that out just in case. And I'm gonna click save. Oh, start and end dates are required. Okay, so let's just say, um, October, I'm not planning an ending, but anyway, <laughs> so that's, that is a proper date, so that would be a good idea, Louise. I click save. So how does this show up? Did I find this job on LinkedIn? No, I did not. I found it through my network, actually. Um, other, okay. I click save. That's interesting, isn't it? So now if we go down to my experience section, Let's scroll down through the different sections and you'll see how I've got different um, links to articles I've written down here. Um, Small Business Britain Champion, and there is the original one. And then we've got um, the one that I've just added in here. Oh, look, there we go. We've got the link in here. So there is, that is how you add something to your experience section. Now, if I wanted to take this out, because I've decided actually delete experience. Yes, delete. What I'd rather do is add it in under my Small Business Britain Champion role. So there's my blurb. Um, and I want to add the media in here. So I'm going to add the link to my recent LinkedIn Live that I did. Again, remember, I want to change this. Um, five digital tools every small business owner needs. Uh, and click apply and now that's going to I'm going to click save in here and there we go so the now people can go and watch my video directly in here so that's how you add something to your experience section on your LinkedIn profile and if we go to this is where it's really important to make sure you pick the right one from the drop down list so if it's a company you used to work for and they maybe have a couple of different um like a headquarters in New York and then a branch in Alabama and you worked in the Alabama branch and that's the one you want to show up as and make sure you pick the right one from your drop down list because if you go here it says there's eight employees on here and we'll scroll down and look there I am I'm listed on the company page for that organization so I hope you find this helpful and um, do let me know if you have any questions below and I hope I didn't get too um, overcomplicated there by adding and deleting an experience. And please do hit subscribe and I will be back to share more content with you on how to use LinkedIn for business next week. Thanks, guys.